All right, guys, Josh Thackeray reporting for Spurred On. We've just won 4-1, beating Sunderland here at the lane. I've got you, you two with me. I've got is it Jake? Lewis and Jake. Lewis and Jake. Lewis and Jake. Lewis, you can go first. Big smile. What do you think? We always come back from a defeat. We've lost three times this season, but we've always come back. We bounced back really well. I thought to, today obviously went down 1-0, which I was devastated at the time, but we come back 4-1. I'll take that. We move on to the next game. Okay. How did you find the first half? What would you make of that? I think, you know, we were expecting like Big Sam to kind of like defend and we were thinking, you know, we go 1-0 down, we're thinking, here we go, is this going to be a defeat? But to be fair, the boys responded quickly and then the, the first half, you know, came 1-0 and then, you know, you're thinking we could go ahead and push on. Absolutely. I think the key was, you know, that quick goal, wasn't it? It was getting back into the game. If we went in 1-0 down, you know, and Sunderland come out, you know, chest pumped out, it could have been a different game. Tell me about the second half. Lots of positives. You want to you wanna just kind of pinpoint a couple of couple of things of the second half? This is a big statement. I think I would start Trippier over Walker. I think he had a great game today. Um, I think his delivery is unbelievable. He's really good defensively. Um, Walker is very good, got a lot of pace, but... He's got a mistake in him every game, and um, I think Trippier, I think he's, he's solid. What about yourself? Rose over Davis, Trippier over Walker? It's difficult, it's difficult. I mean, he, Pochettino's chopping and changing all the time. Personally, I'd start with Davis and Trippier. I would, okay. I would. okay, fair enough. So we've got different views there. I mean, I think he's keeping them more motivated and fit, and they're a big part of our system, aren't they, in terms of the flanks bombing on. So transfer window, right? I want you to give me one name. You want to bring in, we've had Berahino, we've had Shane Long, right? You tell me, if you had to bring in one player, who would it be? It would be a striker. I wouldn't bring a centre-back. I think Wimmer, he's been good when I've seen him play. Um, and I think, obviously, Dyer can sit in there if we need to, if we had two injuries. But I wouldn't go centre-back. Centre I wouldn't go anything in midfield. So it'd have to be up front. Berahino's got his problems. Uh, there's not a lot out there, is there? No, there's not. And, obviously, January's quite hard we've got the stadium coming I can't see Levy getting his check out <sighs> so he's umming and ahhing on Barry and I'll let him yeah. think about that you're going to give me a name well I mean I've heard rumours about Messi and all that haven't we <laughs> <laughs> Messi yeah yeah we'll have him <laughs> we'll have him <laughs> cold, cold nights at the lane why not <laughs> cool he would no I would as well to be fair yeah, yeah. Barry no I'll take Berahino, yeah, definitely. We've got two Berahinos here. I want to know what you guys think. Comments at the bottom. We've got two more games coming up, you know, with a short space of time. We've got the FA Cup, obviously, but from, from the league point of view, are we going to finish top four? And how many points, right, are, we, how many points are we taking from the next two? Okay. Right, beginning of the season, right? All, all I wanted as a Spurs fan is that we actually progressed, right? And now we're in a top four position and people are hearing the radio talking about the league and stuff. Like, let's, let's get realistic. Let's get the top four. If we get that, that's a massive achievement. No one would have even called that at the beginning of the season. If we get there, then happy days and we can push on, maybe sign a few players. But forget the league. Let's get top four and go from there. We've got the UEFA Cup coming up. We might get through to the FA Cup and we've got a fairly, fairly straightforward fixture in the next round. If we stay in the FA Cup, we've got the Europa League coming up. Are we going to finish top four? No doubt. I think we're finished fourth, but top four, 100%. And I think we'll go far in Europa League, yeah. not yeah, too push, far push in on, FA Cup. Europa, Europa right. and the league, I feel confident. FA Cup, hit and miss. We'll see what team we play, but fourth, 100%. If you could take FA Cup win or top four, which one would you take? The FA Cup or fourth spot? Come on, guys. I want answers. It has to be the league. Yeah, I'm going to go top four, 100%. With, with all that cup success, you don't want another cup? Yeah, oh, we were here, right? We were at the lane, three-one into Milan, right? I mean, that was special. I've never seen a, a you know a night like this in Wild Lane. So I'm definitely going to stick with like push on with Europe and push on with growing our club, and that's where it's at in Europe football. Silverware is big, though. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to go FA Cup, but I think we can do both. I think we could go win a trophy and get top four. Right, guys, you heard it here, FA Cup or top four. We've got top four on the left, we've got FA Cup on the right. Let me know what you think, FA Cup or top four. Let us know at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks, guys. Up the Spurs.